Hey everyone, this is Parga Sutar, and today we will learn about a very important topic that is reachability. Now in this today's session, we will discuss what is reachability, what is the connected graph, what is a disconnected graph as well as what is a strongly connected graph and what is a weakly connected graph. Fine. So first let us understand what is reachability. Okay. So a vertex V of a simple diagraph is said to be reachable, uh, reachable from the vertex U of the same diagraph. Now it is a simple diagraph, fine. So simple means there is a no self loop and as well as no parallel edges. And diagraph, so that means we have uh, directions, fine. So uh, reachable from the vertex U of the same diagraph. If there exists a path from U to V, uh, we all know what is a path, right? So if there is a, exists a path from U to V, we can say that uh, U is reachable to V. Now let us understand what is a geodesic. So if a vertex uh, V, it is reachable from the vertex U. So that means there is, a pass, uh, there is a path between U and V, fine. And then a path of minimum length from U to V is called a geodesic. So there exists a path as well as it is of the minimum length. So we can say that it is a geodesic. Now what is a distance? So the length of a geodesic from a vertex U to the vertex V, it is known as the distance. So the length of the geodesic. So there is a path. Geodesic means what? Uh, it is the a minimum length. Fine. So the length of a geodesic from vertex U to vertex V, it is known as the distance. And it is denoted by the symbol that is distance of U and V. Okay. Now the distance from a vertex U to the vertex V, if V is reachable from U, it is denoted by the symbol right J of U and V and it satisfies the following properties and they are the obvious ones. So the first one is uh, distance of UV it is greater than or equals to zero. So obviously the distance between uh, these two vertices uh, these two vertices has to be greater than or equals to zero. It cannot be negative, right? And the distance of UU so that means distance of what? The same point, distance between the same point. That is obviously it is zero. Okay. Now also we have this type of inequality. So distance of UV plus distance of VW, it is always greater than or equals to distance of UW. So that means uh, between U and W, if we put some another vertex, okay. So or if we travel U to W via vertex V, then the distance of these two, it is always greater than or equals to distance of U and W. So first and the last uh, vertex, fine. And this inequality, it is known as triangle inequality. And you must have seen this type of inequality in so many fields. Okay. Now, if V is not reachable from U, okay. So then the, the distance, the distance of U and V, it is infinite. Fine. Now, let us understand what is a connected graph and disconnected graph. So the first one, the graph is said to be connected if every pair of vertices are joined by a path. Okay, and otherwise the graph is disconnected. So it is, uh, it is a graph, fine. So a graph is connected if every pair of vertices are joined by path. And otherwise it is called a disconnected graph. Now let us come to the directed graph. Now a directed graph, so that means uh, the graph having directions or a diagraph. So a directed graph is said to be connected if what? The undirected graph derived, uh, what? Derived from it by ignoring the directions of the edge is connected and is said to be dis, uh, disconnected otherwise. So that means uh, a graph is connected when when every pair of vertices have the path, fine. Now a directed graph or a diagraph uh, is said to be connected when, when if we ignore the directions. So then we will get the same normal graph without directions and that graph is connected. Then we can see that a directed graph it is connected, simple, fine. And if we don't have any path between vertices, then it is obviously it is called a directed graph. Uh, it is called a disconnected graph. Now, a directed graph is said to be a strongly connected when, if uh, for every two vertices A and B in the graph, there is a path from A to B as well as path from B to A. Okay, so there must be uh, two paths. Fine between A to B and B to A. There can be more than two parts, fine. That means we can reach from A to B as well as from B to A, fine. 
so then it is called a strongly connected graph now a directed graph is, uh, is said to be a weakly connected graph well if it is not strongly connected graph obviously add its underlying graph it is this uh, and it is connected so when a directed graph it is not strongly connected graph and its underlying graph must be connected okay okay so it is called a weakly connected graph now a directed graph which is neither strongly connected nor weakly connected then we can say that it is a disconnected graph so we have two definitions for disconnected graph uh, in terms of connectedness so a graph is uh, neither strongly connected nor weakly connected then we can say that it is a disconnected graph and for normal purpose or simple so a directed graph is said to be uh, what disconnected if uh, we ignore uh, or the underlying graph by ignoring the directions is disconnected then we can also say that this is a disconnected graph okay now uh, let us discuss example now consider this graph so we have this a b c d e okay now we need to check whether it is uh, strongly connected or weakly connected so the answer is the uh, the above graph it is strongly connected why because there exists a path between each and every pair of vertices so let us check that so consider this a and b we can go from a to b so there is a path now for b to a uh, what is the path so b c c to d d to e e to a so we have b to a now consider a c so we have a to c now for c to a we have the c to e and e to a so obviously we have two paths between a to c that means from a to c as well as c to a now consider this c and d so we have c to d now for d to c just consider d e e a a b b and c fine now we'll consider c e so we have this path c e and for e to c just consider e to a and a to c so this is how you can check uh, and each and every pair of vertices having paths fine and to and fro okay so it is a strongly connected graph now consider another example like this so a b c d e so as you can see that uh, what is that uh, this graph it is strongly connected or weakly connected so the above graph is not strongly connected why because there is no path from e to b okay uh, yes it is right uh, we can go from b to e but we cannot go from e to b so it is not strongly connected now is it a weakly connected graph so just think about it okay for weakly connected graph what is the condition uh, it it has to be a what a connected graph as well as not strongly connected graph so just think about it now note we have one another definition so a simple digraph is known as unilaterally connected if for any pair of vertices of the graph at least one of the vertices of the pair is reachable from the other vertex okay again if uh, it is called a unilaterally graph if for any pair of vertices of the graph at least one of the vertices of the pair is reachable from the other vertex and if for any pair of vertices of the graph both the vertices of the pair are reachable from one another another so that we already know so then it is called a strongly connected graph so as you can see that consider this graph so i think it is a unilaterally connected why because we have b to e but we don't have e to b as well as it is connected so it is unilaterally connected okay thank you